Tuesday, 1 a.m. in my cell at Mid-State Corrections. My first moment of clarity. The exact moment in time when I discovered that the entire planet was being lied to and was put under a spell to keep us unaware of it was back in 1996, around the time Biggie got locked up for the Tech 9 in his house. Biggie was in the newspaper that day with handcuffs on being led by two or three cops. He had on a sweater with a big letter B on the front. It was that day that I was reading one of Dr. Malachi Z. York's books. Can't remember which one. I believe it was titled Leviathan 666. I finished the book and started crying. I was crying for all of humanity but mostly for my black people. Because I then realized it was all a sham. The government, religions, politics, the Federal Reserve, IRS, and everything that we believe and live by is a joke. This one book didn't make me see it all. No. It was the combination of other things I've read, studied, seen, and experienced. Leviathan 666 just helped me connect all of the dots to make me see it's all real. Dr. York has since been set up by the FBI and Illuminati players and is now serving 135 years in a federal prison. His own son, Jacob York, who was deep into the rap business back in 96, orchestrated the entire setup. Africa Bambata and Prodigy are the only two famous rappers who speak for Dr. York and know he's innocent. Jay-Z and Jazzo were both raised in their teenage years in Dr. York's New Wabian community in Bushwick, Brooklyn. Look at the Jazzo Originators video and you'll see them holding up Dr. York's pictures, wearing his garb, flashing his symbols. Jay-Z knows the truth, but he chose sides with evil in order to be accepted in a corporate world. Jay-Z conceals the truth from the black community and the world and promotes the lifestyle of the beast instead. I'm revealing some astonishing information if people would just do a little research and see. Prodigy, Dr. York, and Africa Bambata are the truth. Jay-Z is a goddamn lie. I have so much fire in my heart that I will relentlessly attack Jay-Z, Illuminati, any every other evil that exists until my lights are put out which is damn near impossible because my power in the streets is incredible. I fear nothing and no one. I'm fearless because the truth has set me free from the Illuminati, mental enslavement, and I've been empowered by God and the universe to bury these cockroaches. So that was my moment of clarity, 1996, in Laurelton, Queens, New York, I have gone through serious spiritual wars with the evil energy that once existed in my body. It took me from 1996 to 2008 to defeat the negativity that held my soul hostage all these years. Some people do it quicker, some never. And some have no negativity at all. They are special. This negativity I speak of is an actual living entity that uses us as food. We must sever our ties with it in order to see things for what they really are. This negative energy is created and harnessed by the Illuminati secret government, and they will make you spread this energy without you even knowing it. But people like Jay-Z are very well aware, and he was schooled by Dr. York. So if you're aware and you still spread it, what does that make you? 
Who and what do you represent? I'm not saying these bad things about Jay-Z because we had a rap beef. Fuck no. This has nothing to do with our rap beef. But it does connect in a way. Jay-Z is not the only aware rapper that is sided with evil, but he's the most influential. For more information on this, please stay in tune with HNIC2.com. HNIC2, the album, and HNIC2, the videos, collection, DVD. Also, my autobiography entitled My Infamous Life will be out early 2010. So please support Reality Rap, not fantasy crap. Free Dr. York, free Prodigy, free your minds. Peace, Prodigy, hyphen, HNIC2.com. Product of the 80s in stores, October 2008. Produced by Sid Rums.